Kristen and I have a bonus Thursday video for you. Kind of a little bit of a surprise to me even that I was going to do this. I kind of had forgotten about some of these things and I thought, you know what? When I got this, the couple things I ordered from Nordstrom from the anniversary sale and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to kind of show you those things and then I'll show you some makeup-y things as well. So let's start with the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So for those of you that maybe aren't familiar, Nordstrom has their anniversary sale once a year because it's an anniversary and <laughs> they have a like an early time for people that have the Nordstrom credit card or the Nordstrom debit card I think that can um, you know buy things and then it opens up to the public today I believe if I have that correct um, and so when it came out they, there's a flyer that comes out that I looked through and there are a couple of things that I wanted to get in there now I don't normally buy very expensive like clothing but I wanted to go ahead and show you the two things that I bought and then something that I would have purchased had I needed it and I'll explain that when I get to it so um, the, the sales and the deals that Nordstrom has during this this um, sale is really really good they're, they're really really good so just take a look at the website and see so the first thing that I purchased is this and I'm not sure how I can actually show you. Right, I pushed back a little bit to try to show you guys. So this is a, it's a suede jacket and it has this kind of leather detail trim at the end of it. Um, it's by Sejour, S-E-J-O-U-R. And this is one of my favorite brands from Nordstrom. I think they have like uh, missy sizes as well as plus sizes. But, um, so this was on like a really big, a really, really good sale. It's an expensive jacket. It's not something I'm purchasing every day, but you'll see that I've left some of the things on here because it actually ended up being too big for me. So I need to get a different size. But one of the things that I like about this, and I'll try to stick a picture in here of the, what the model was wearing because I actually ordered the shirt that she was wearing as well as the jacket. Um, so you can see a little bit better, but I one of the things I like about this jacket is that it has the, sort of the stretchiness kind of on the inside of the sleeve, so it makes it comfortable to wear when you're driving, if you wear it to work, if you're sitting at a desk and having to reach or whatever. It just, I find that jackets that have this little bit of stretchiness in the arms make it so much more comfortable to wear on a regular basis. So I love this because it has this kind of mandarin collar. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but you know, like a collar without being a collar. Just absolutely my favorite. So. I love this jacket and I'm going to order it in a smaller size and then I will I, then I will be happy and you will be seeing me wear it hopefully if not here on my vlog channel so anyway I wanted to show you that and then the shirt that I got also um, too big so I'm not sure if that's a combination of me losing a little bit of weight or if these things run a little bit big I'm not really sure but so I'm gonna put this in here it's just a short sleeve is it the same yeah it's the same company um, and it's really long and again you'll see it in that picture so that's how it looks with the jacket um, I just I just love it and I love how how long it is it really makes a difference let me see if I can show you guys so here you can see how much longer it is than the jacket and it's a little bit longer on one side a little asymmetrical and it has a little slit in it um, it's just really fun <laughs> it's a little bit out of my norm but I, I really like it so I will like it better when it's in my size <laughs> So the other um, thing, I didn't even take this out of its packaging, I ordered this online of course, is the, I always get this, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, the deodorant that I use. They sell it in a three pack for a little bit less money than it would be just for the, just when you buy one of them, so that's this. Looks like it came with a little sample of the Cashmere Mist perfume as well. And then the rest of the makeup things, nothing in that, nothing really excited me really in that they of the things that they had like the special deals or whatever nothing really stuck out to me so I didn't get any of the cosmetics so the other thing I want to talk about and I it's not like I can really show you a pair of leggings but these are leggings and these are by Vince Camuto and these go on sale for I think like 39 so like $40 during the Nordstrom sale every year and the reason I really like these is because they are much thicker for those of us that live in a cooler climate and you really want a nice thick legging these are amazing they have them I believe they have them again in both plus and missy sizes and I this is this is why I like these they're $40 but guess what I'm going on my third season with these and they still look like they're new they haven't faded they 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 haven't stretched out they haven't anything so this year I noticed they just had the black and then the brown 
Hopefully you can see the you can see the difference there. The black and the brown. I also have a pair of like a charcoal gray color, but I didn't see those when I was looking this year. So I was going. I'm just showing you these to let you know that they are there and on sale again. In case you heard me talk about them last year and maybe didn't get them and are curious. So. Um, that, that is what I bought and what I would have bought had I needed them. I had gone to pull out my black ones to see if I needed to replace them, and I re really don't. They look just like brand new. They haven't pilled. They, they, they wash up amazingly well. I, just give them, give them a look, because I really think that you would be happy. You wouldn't be disappointed in a pair of those leggings. So, all right. I just have a few other things, and this is all that I've purchased for quite some time. I, I don't have any other makeup products to show you that I have purchased. It's been a while since I did all, so... I don't know what to tell you about that. I haven't been buying much since my Mac haul. So um, I had to replace the, these are the razors that I use to shave my face, like the peach fuzz off of my face. These are the Tinko razors, and I think these are, they're by Eden. I don't know. I get them on Amazon. I'll link them below for you, but I really like these. They work very, very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like them better than the ones with kind of the shorter blade. These have a little bit longer blade on them and just work really well. So that's that. Okay. I was, one of my subscribers, her name is Jessica, and she's been a subscriber for a really long time. She tweeted me a link to, um, I think it's a real popular YouTuber, I can't remember her name because I don't, I don't subscribe to her, but she was using this loose color by um, OCC in Artifact. You guys, this is so pretty. So I have, when I went on the site, and I think I've determined now since then that it was their anniversary sale. So because of that, these loose colors are normally $14 and they were like $8 or something. So this is Artifact. This is the one that got me to go over there. Now I'll kind of show you in the pot if I can. So that's Artifact. And then I also got one in Dope. And Dope is what I'm wearing on my lids today, but I also have uh, the paint pot in Bad to the Bronze underneath it. But most of the color you're seeing there is Dope. And these are, are the two that I really like. And then I'll show you the one that I don't love quite as much. So that is Dope right there. A messy swatch. Really pretty gold. It's a nice, it's a really nice kind of warm gold. Then the last one, and this I was wearing in a vlog that I think actually goes up tomorrow. But, so I talked about this a little bit. This is the one in Burning. And this looked on the website to me a little more coppery and it comes off a little more pink so that is burning that one I don't like so much I ended up that messy swatch is driving me crazy um, I ended up such a fruitcake putting Venus from the walk or Venus from the um, naked basics palette over the top of it to kind of tone it down and then I ended up liking the look it just wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get with that but those pigments are very nice. They wear very well on their own and over, you know, like over a paint pot or whatever, but even on their own, just over a primer, they wear very well. I, I probably got a good eight hours before any creasing, so I was impressed with that. This is the first thing I've ever purchased from OCC, um, and I really like it. I was happy with it. Then the only other thing I have to show you is, and I should have mentioned this. I'm going to grab it out of here. In my favorites last month, I broke out this little sample size ahead of the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in number 400. I'm just going to put this on my, why not? I'm going to swatch the rest of them. Might as well swatch this one. And I could not believe how much I liked how this wore. I think of all of the liquid lipsticks I have tried, this is my favorite. This, this formula is my favorite. So that's the 400. So I wanted to get one in pink. So and I called Seth, who is my um, Giorgio Armani dude. And I, and I'll list his information below. He's Sethikins on YouTube and he also works for Giorgio Armani at Sex. And I asked him to kind of help me out with picking different, different swatches. And these are the three that I ended up with. So let me just put them in order. <laughs> so 503, no, 502 is the first one that I got. And that one, you guys, these are so nice. This one is a little bit more fall, which is why I got it. It's a little bit more, I'm going to give you a, Kind of a bigger swatch so you really can see it's a little bit more berry to it as you can see there hopefully you can see there and then 503 if you guys have had any experience with these let me know because i just think they're amazing i just stopped myself from saying the bomb well it's hard to do a bigger swatch nice and cleanly 
<laughs> so that one is 503. Yep, 503. And then the last one I got is 504. I should have worn one of these today so you guys could see it more in action. So there's a little more pink to this one. And there is 504. So, so, nice. so I was wearing one of those a while back. I think it was 504. I think it was this brightest one a while back in the video. And you guys seem to really like it. So. so thank you again to Seth for helping me figure out which shades I needed there. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything that I have to show you guys today. On my face, I have the Estee Lauder Perfectionist. And then same powder and everything over the top of that. For blush today, I've been wearing this nonstop again. This is the Tom Ford Blush in Frantic Pink. Just, it's just perfect. The perfect blush for me. And then as I said on my eyes, I have uh, Maybelline Bad to the Bronze. And then over the top of that, I have the Obsessive, or the OCC. Let's just go with OCC. Um, in Dope. And on my lips today, I have the Perfect Liner, Perfect whatever, Perfect Lips from Too Faced. It's on my Use It Up. And then over the top of that, I have this Maybelline, one of the ones from their Anniversary Collection. And it's in Purposeful Mauve. Yes, purposeful moth. All right, that is everything. Thank you guys so much. Do go ahead and check out the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. They really do have some good deals. Um, you would be surprised at, at probably some of the discounts that you can get. So give it a look. All right, we'll talk to you very soon.